Jeff Bacalar, are you ready to get loopy? Oh my gosh, Danny. I, uh, I'm all about this loop. I'm all about that loop life. Let's do it, uh, baby. You have played more of this than I have. I am maybe, I don't know. I, I can't tell. It's hard to tell. It's been, I've been looping for so long, but I'm, I'm at least 10 hours in. It sounds like you're probably double dash, it sounds like. It's pretty wild that the game with the time loop doesn't have a counter. I want yeah. the, the time loop <laughs> game to have a time loop counter. Is that too much to ask? Uh, we're going to go into Break the Loop. The other thing there, uh, Project the Loop, is the sort of multiplayer facet of this game, which I'll be completely honest, I have not really touched all that often. Same. There is enough meat on this particular bone um, to keep me uh, occupied. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this quick look in the spirit of actual quickness, um, but there is a lot to cover. So I guess let's do a little bit of jiggery pokery around this Ooh. whole bit. And then once we get into the game, um, we'll see how we kind of get uh, freeform style. Okay. Um, I, I really like Deathloop. Um, I, I really like Deathloop. I think it's tremendous. It's like a, a, a tour de force for the immersive sim genre. Um, but it's a, it is complicated. Like, it's not that it's complicated. It's just different, right? Like, yeah, I think, I think they've invented a language. Uh, their own yes. language for this game and uh, it takes a little bit to kind of become fluent in that and I think it also takes a little bit of time to realize like am I playing this game like am I doing yeah. it am I doing it right yeah uh, am I progressing um so the basic gist of it is that there are four times of day and there are four areas and so in that way you know four by four what is that 16 the 16 kind of levels in a way sure. like the, the the people who you're assassinating because by the way you're you're basically in this game trying to assassinate i think it's eight uh correct indi visionaries. individuals yeah. visionaries targets and the idea is that you have to eventually do one full day which is like you know f four levels in a row um having killed all four of them so it's what is it morning noon afternoon and evening correct uh are the thing, and you have to kill all the eight visionaries within that, including one of them who is actually hunting you, um, and there's a great story in this game. Um, so I'm, as I said, maybe, who knows, like eight to ten hours into this thing, and right now, I'm basically like, there are four areas. I'm starting a new loop here, I think. Uh, oh no, I've done the morning already in this scenario. Um, we're coming in hot on this one. Um, <laughs> or wait, am I? Is this the, no, this is the morning one, is yeah, it? I think it's no, that's morning. noon, so... Yeah, holds to wait till afternoon. Got it. Right, so right, right. This is, so this I is one, so two, three, four. Yeah. So I imagine right now you're in the morning. Yes, and I think I've just completed the morning. I think I did right. some stuff last night. I, I love this game. I'm playing the hell out of it. And, so and what's interesting too is like you, you know, I'm looking at what your sort of uh, mission it, it sort of gets you know labeled when you show those four areas. They'll give you little bits of uh, little hints to be like, oh. This is the active mission for this time of day in this area, like devouring the yeah. lambs. Like it's Let me explain screen. a bit of it, just because I feel like it, this is going to be completely bamboozling to people who don't know what the fuck's going on here. Um, they've split up this sort of like pre-level menu into, uh, I guess, visionary leads, arsenal leads, discoveries, and documents. The mm -hmm. Discoveries and documents are basically like stuff you've learned. And then I found that these two, visionary leads and arsenal leads, are the two ways you sort of plan kind of what you want to do next. Right. So the game is like very forward in telling you what you know and what you've learned and what you should do because it doesn't really want you figuring that stuff out. And you can basically pick, okay, you know what? Um, one of the visionaries has uh, like, a, here's a bit of information I found out about one of the visionaries, which if I do this, I'll probably learn some more about it. Um, but this is happening in, uh, that would be afternoon. So I could do this one now. Um, what, what's this is one that's happening is like, in the evening. <laughs> right, right. And what, what I noticed was like, you need this. Like, 100%. I, I was thinking like, oh my God, I would totally have like the, the, the cork board with the red string if I didn't have this very, you know, easy to sort of navigate uh, yeah, that's what this is. There. Yeah, that's what it is. Basically, yeah. And you'll get used to the iconography. Like, this is a certain area. This is a certain area. These little sort of uh, um, icons here. Right. Um, but say you don't want to go after one of the visionaries. There's also, um, they give you sort of insight into, oh, there's actually some, like, guns and powers that you can also maybe acquire. Because as you know, each time you die, or each time the loop resets, because actually you have, like, kind of three deaths in every, uh, three lives in every loop. Or at least I do at this stage. Yes. Um. You, you can basically imbue certain weapons and powers with an element that will have it so that they come back with you. So it's not like you're starting from scratch every single time or it's like a roguelike where you're 
picking new powers and new guns every time. Uh, I actually have like a pretty good setup that I'm happy with here um, of guns that I have basically. Oh, mine looks very similar. Nice. Nice. Yeah, so this thing I absolutely love. Um, this uh, like beefy, I don't know what you call it. It's kind like of a shotgun. Automatic kind of shotgun, gun. yeah. Yeah. Um, I just got this one from killing one of the, uh, the eight. And uh, it's a pretty, it just looks badass. It's yeah. this game, also the style in this game is so cool. And then this is a silenced pistol, basically. Um, and then I've got powers. The powers that you, you get the, these powers from killing the visionaries, but then you also have to make sure you have enough of this residuum to imbue the power with, you know, the, the, the time yeah. sauce so that you get <laughs> the it the time. next day. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> it's, good, it's gone. It's a good way to put it. Like, that is the cycle of this game is, like, you basically right get there. four chances to make progress. And then you basically, yes. at the end of that, the way I play it is I, at <laughs> the end out. of my death or end of the night, I say, okay, I've collected all this stuff. What am I going to harvest? And it, and, totally. and it basically decide you, with this currency called residuum, you decide what will make it with you overnight to, to the next loop. Um, yeah, so I could, I could do that right now with some of this right, stuff. You can I don't do have it that much point. residuum. Yeah. Um, uh, you also like... So it goes deeper because, of course, it's an arcane <laughs> game. There are also <laughs> trinkets you can get, which, you know, are basically mods for the guns that you can also imbue those um, or whatever. I don't know what the actual... Infuse, I guess, is yes. the actual term they're using here. Um, uh, so, yes, there is a there's a... A lot of systems to get in to in this. Um, and then the other thing I should say is that I think these as well, these um, uh, powers slabs. that are, which are, yes, sorry, slabs, uh, which are basically powers. And some of them are like straight up, the, you know, this is this is Blink from Dishonored. Shift right. is. Um, <laughs> some of these, also you can upgrade them by sort of re-killing the, the person you killed because everything's on a loop. At the start of the day, it all goes back to the start. And you can kill everyone all over again. You're kind of the only one who remembers that you're going through the loop. Oh, what I do you know. think? Is that a decent one on one? Honestly, Danny, like this is an incredibly difficult game to sort of sum up in that elevator pitch. I think you did a great job. Uh, <laughs> it, like I We're said, this game speaks its own language. You you do wrap. I was able to kind of wrap my head around it in maybe two play two plays, not like yeah playthroughs i mean like sessions <laughs> so maybe like you know two three hours I, w I was in it to win it for sure so so this is the sort of uh if you can imagine this as being the you know y-axis and this the x-axis um of uh of choices here you know these are the times of day da, 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 da. these are the areas there's only four areas uh as at least that i know of um so i guess right now we are in the afternoon so I should look through the different things that are possible. So I have a little bit of information on something there. It's not really much. This area says there's a delivery booth, but that's happening at all these times. So it's right. not super critical right now. Uh, I know a lot about this area. I think this is Updock, I think. Is that what it's called? Updock? Updam. Updam. Updam, sorry. Up, what's Updock? What's Updam? Um, <laughs> what's Updam? <up> <laughs> so there's a, there's, a, there's a couple of things in here. So maybe this is the... The one to go to, and then I don't really have all that much here. At least I don't have it in this time of day. So, let's go to Updom, I guess. Is there any of these things? What? None of these leads are particularly good. And here's the other thing: I feel like a lot of the time I'm just going into these areas and walking around and then adding to this. Yeah. You know, and, lead book. And that is the great thing about this game that it kind of like does a lot of the busy work for you. Like, uh, even if you are not a fan of reading transcripts or you know letters, once you kind of skim through that it gives you a nice little paraphrased you know summary of what exactly you just discovered uh in this really digestible way that you are not you know sort of tethered to having to unpack and unwrap all of the mythology and canon that's sort of inside you know the the, the, the you know the history of the island and all that stuff so it's really yeah. they really make it as easy as it can be uh, to wrap your head around it. And, yeah, and there's and it's really fascinating. Like, I'm enjoying learning about yes. the island and the characters. Like, it's very well written. Um, it's not in your face, uh, but the game does a good job of, like, almost making you really listen to the story because the details in there... Like, there's straight up, like, a, one of the levels has, like, a, like a fucking, like questions and answers booth yeah. that is based on like quiz. stuff. <laughs> a little quiz that if you win it, you get something, presumably. Um I think I'm going to try... So this is his game. One of the things I learned is that uh, in Updom, 
this guy, I think it's this guy, Charlie, he has, he's, he's living in like a sort of a little theme park area. Yeah. Uh, but I couldn't get into one of his rooms, I think, because I needed that mm. special pass thing. Yes. So I don't know. Maybe I'll have a look at that. I, I, think. I don't think you need that to get into his room, but okay. I, I definitely think that is a fun thing to do down okay. there. Yeah. Let's if, head over there and kind of and see what's going on. Um, and you can, if you want, you can basically highlight one of these to kind of do it. So I guess we'll do this. I already have his slab, but I wouldn't mind upgrading it as well. So let's his, just jump in. His slab is one of my favorites too. So is his the blink one? His is the invisibility. Oh, is it? I thought I killed this guy. Well, maybe oh maybe no, I, maybe it's I not invisibility. It. You're right. Invisibility is the is the. Um, God, now now I'm in my own freaking loop. You've uh, had a week off. Oh, here's Juliana. So Juliana might only be playing through your. Uh, oh, you know what's happening actually, because she plays through the, uh, she's playing through my microphone on my. Du yeah, on, on your dual sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what happened there. I was wondering why we couldn't hear it on the thing. Not um, to worry. I'll if just... you do wear headphones, uh, or if you have like some sort of <laughs> USB headphone, the PS5 or PS4 will know and pipe her audio through your headphones too. So, uh, so each level has like basically two doors you can go out, which is kind of cool because maybe you just don't want to have to like deal with any of that shit there. So I'm just gonna, yeah, like no thanks. Gonna say. I'm gonna go to my usual blink and knife situation, which is usually a good. Uh, way to get around and stab people. I will say that this game, uh, you have a very um, generous sort of... They're not very good at hearing or seeing you in this game. You know, I want to say that kind of gets... It doesn't change, obviously. You're going through a loop all the time, but something about it... There could maybe be some magic behind the curtain with, like, that ramping up the more you play. I, I, have, no, okay. I have nothing to, like, back that up. I just got through something last night that made me think like, oh, I feel like these people are a little bit more observant than maybe they were the last time I was here. But again, nothing really concrete to back that up. <laughs> as you can see as well, like they have straight up put the library and Charlie's game as these two different um, objectives. I've actually already done the library thing. I don't know why that's still there. Maybe, maybe I can keep going back. Um, there was a box with a, a code on it that I had to decipher. Um, so, but what's cool is it's so this game is like super like it reminds me a lot of um, Hitman uh, mm. because you're you're replaying these levels over and over again and basically figuring out where everyone is because they're in the same places um, at least depending on what time of day right um, right so you're getting a real like aspect of level mastery as you play this uh oh is there someone right there yeah in terms of like learning those maps and and being really uh resourceful with shortcuts and and you know like in this map particularly i'm a big like rooftop hopper me too yeah uh, also and people disappear when you kill them as as they do in real life yeah uh, but they will notice these little you know wisps if uh, if they get really close to them but they have to get really close to them to yeah to get there um so i'm gonna try and sneaky sneaky myself over here oh someone's gonna see me oh someone's right up there Okay, let's uh, go down here. There's a lot of listening to conversations. Yeah, and the, the voice acting is super good, um, I have found. You, you, guys, you sort of find information uh, through listening to people a lot of the time. Um, how what Did you do the same thing as me and just kind of spend a couple of levels, like, just going around listening to people and trying to figure out what, what I should be doing in an area? I did some of that, and then I started to realize that... I was absorbing a lot of that exposition. Oh, oh, just someone saw doing... it. Uh -oh. oh, there you go. Uh, where's my silence pistol? Phew, got away with that one. I think. Did I? The music started. Yeah, the music's usually a good indicator of like who is alerted. But then it ends and you know you're good. Okay, yeah, I go I, through this area. I did absorb a lot of that expo exposition just by playing the sort of missions that I was uh, picking up um, but yeah like you definitely have tons of situations where you because you are exposed to the same things pretty regularly you can kind of you know eavesdrop and, and, and get it again if you miss it the first time <laughs> love that one I've not used it that much so that was very satisfying 
Uh, hopefully no one noticed. I'm sure, I'm sure that guy noticed. Um, so yeah, now I know Charlie's game is over here, right? So that's, yes. he's in this like weird little palace. So the, the last time I went in here, it turned into a real, you know, shit show. A lot of like murdering lots of people. Uh, you do not have to, I feel like this game, you can, you can die very quickly in it. Um, but also I feel like it is a game where if you want to run and gun in certain scenarios, like it is totally a viable option. You just, can't, they're not the most difficult, you know, baddies in the world. Uh, no. Also, and, you can do this and it really works. And I, very nice. And I also Thank noticed you. that I didn't, like, I've never felt that I was missing out. Oh, by, shit. Oh, they put a mine well, on that? I didn't notice that before. God. Good thing there's a little bit of juice here. Mines will also appear in trip wires. They'll appear different times a day. Oh. And then you kind of remember, like, oh, this thing's booby trapped. I also afternoon. forgot my, my hack a jig. Oh no! Which is the thing in my left hand oh, right, right now? Right, we didn't it's even talk about it. The hackamajig, yeah. There's just there's a lot going on here. The hackamajig is basically a, your your hacking tool. You can you know make turrets, be your friends, open doors, all that stuff. Um, also, there's grenades. Uh, I feel like I feel like I've doors. hacked more turrets and gotten kills that way than like any other weapon. Amen. Uh, I, right? I, the turrets are so powerful. If you set like two or three turrets up, like portal style. Yeah, forget um, it. Yeah, you can just like basically corral them towards you. Is that another mine? Let me see. I don't believe so. I don't think so. So you've not been to this area or you have? I have, but I don't know if I've been at this time of day, so it gotcha. might be a little bit different. Uh, also, the first time I came here, of course, I did not have the power I have now. Right. So now I'm able to, you know, do a little bit of this nonsense, I think. Can I actually get out here? What's really wild is the first time I started this game, I it was really early in the preview cycle and I didn't get the residuum perk. I, I like died on that mission. Oh, you're kidding. And I basically had to kill the, the first visionary that I, without it for the quick loop for like the preview that we were doing. <laughs> so like you can really just go all over the place with this game. And, also you and, can, have the gun in the other hand as well. That's right. another thing. So it, I feel like it does take you a little couple of hours to sort of figure out, like, you know, get used to the controls. I will say I'm playing this on PS5 in case it wasn't obvious enough. Um, although we're capturing in 1080 60 here, uh, it, it it looks fantastic. It mm -hmm. runs really well, and I've had no problem with the controls. And I would be somebody who would tend to play arcade games on PC, but um, I opted for this, and I'm really into it. Can yeah, you know what? Like, if I was choosing to play this between, you know. PC and PS. The reason I love it so much on on PlayStation, I'm not gonna lie, like the Dual Sense haptic stuff is so awesome in this game. Yeah, you think? I, oh, I, I, I love it. It's been subtle. I, maybe I haven't noticed it, but what 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 has it been? Doing? I I, I think a lot of the menu stuff is super satisfying with the way it's it's synced to uh, audio cues. Um, you know, when you every step there's feedback, and when you're uh, sneaking, there's there's little if any uh i just think it's just really an inventive implementation of it um you well, know they got some residuum so certain objects will have residuum you just basically you know just suck it off right there pull it off and it goes in your little residuum bag you can use that to maybe i'll pick up a weapon on this on oh what the fuck oh, you can hack that how dare they Okay, well, hacky, hacky, hacky. Uh, every time I go into one of these areas, I feel like I've learned like twelve new ways to go in. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, like it, they're it's so well does it's it's like designed within an inch of its life. This whole game, like they know exactly what you're gonna see, sight lines and all that sort of stuff. So you know, it took me like forty minutes to get into this area, and like in a game, say a Soulsborne game, you might you know the, you press a button that opens a door that gets you in. Whereas in Deathloop. You just kind of see a place where you, you might be able to climb up <laughs> next yeah. time, you know? If there's a wild amount of, like, deliberate revelation that they yes. somehow do, which is just the magic sauce. Uh, th there's a battery dispenser there. We haven't gotten into any of that stuff. Let's, let's not for right now. <laughs> okay. What's this person doing? Last time I was out here, I think he was, like, playing air guitar or something. Yeah, yeah, also, sorry, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, also, if you, if you like, alert people, like, if I alerted 
the hornet's nest here. I mean, in this building, it might cause a bit of an issue, but like, it's not like if you, you alert the entire level, you know what I mean? It's not like, uh oh, I need to Correct. reset or, cause like there is no, you know, you can't save scum in this. Um, and also like, I, I'm not like, I don't care to. Uh oh, uh, uh -oh. Juli uh -oh. Juliana's here, Juliana's here. Okay, why is she here? Shit. Whoa, she's really here. She's really here. Oh. God. Okay, she got she gotcha. me. Gotcha. All so right, I've this lost, is good though. I've lost hey. one of my lives. So whenever Juliana kills you or shows up in your loop, she locks all the your escape tunnels too, oh which you have God. to hack your way out of. So I can. And Should I try and kill her? I've never killed her. I would definitely kill her. Um, plus, you want to go back and get your residuum. Every time you die, you oh, have course. to go back and rec you can see that icon. It's like that fallen. It's like your souls. I'm yeah. gonna use this gun because it looks absolutely. It looks like the coolest '80s toy ever. Yeah. And also, um, I got it from one of the. One of the eight. Um, I want to. I want to get her in a spot that's like advantageous. I wish there was a. Uh, I mean, they're the, they're usually easy to kill if you get if you get them in a gunfight. I think you were just a little low on health before you uh, encountered her. Thanks for being in my corner. Yeah, of course, always. Was it, was it right here? Uh, well, that's where your residuum is. Where's she gone? Does she stick around? I, every time I've had this happen, the, the visionary's <laughs> not that far away. Okay. Like, let's get, let's get suck, get, suck get your my shit residuum back. back. Yeah. Suck that up. Suck it up. Suck myself up. Where is she? Just hanging around. She's chilling. I don't know. I think she got you on the other side of the. Um... Is there any turrets in here I could use? Like, just set up real quick. Don't think you know, so. Hopefully, we'll get to one of those like weird iron coil things that they teleport into. You know oh, what yeah. talking about? Like, is I don't that where they teleport? Yeah, is that, yeah, that's, I, yeah that's, that's where the turrets are, right? Right. I don't know if I understand, like, the, the, the mythology behind those, though. Do you know what this I mean? This is why I love this game. We've both played, like, collectively, like, 30 hours of this. Yeah. And oh, there's, there's still, still, like, so, so many know. questions. Yeah. yeah. And it's fun. It's, like, it's, it's, un, it's, it's the un, unraveling of the cake. It's like the... The first time you ever played a tutorial of like a video game that told you something real basic, and you were like, "Oh, that's how games works." Yeah. That's like been my experience for this for basically like the entire time. There, also, and like, those headshots like, are super good. And I don't have that silencer pistol, and I want it now. It's like the, I don't know, oh my I don't gosh. know where you got it. I, I want don't know. It. Where I maybe got it's it. in the, uh, you know, the arsenal leads. I can look into that maybe. But like, I want it bad. I'm like also, kind of. Uh, now I'm like gonna have to play this area totally different because I don't like last time I went in here I just I really went in loud and didn't care. Whereas now if I do it she's gonna turn up. She'll probably yeah. hear me or something. Um, and so this is one of these areas that you need a class pass, which is a really interesting mechanic because it's basically a a ticket that you get to go in here. But by using it, none of your slabs work, including the one I think that gives you extra lives. Correct. So you are down to having no blink, no, uh, none of your slabs work, and also if you die, you're done. So it's so cool. It, it's like it's like an optional hard mode. You know what I mean? Like that. Yeah, I so I've experienced it before, and I've not gone into where you are now with the class pass. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't know where to get a class pass around that's here. That's just going to say, because I, yeah. I didn't know how to get it. I, I assume something opens up, or maybe you have to keep it from where you get it in the other oh, area. maybe. Can you go back through the... See? I don't know. It's, that's just what this... Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and the game is... Because the levels are, like, relatively short as well, you can just kind of jump into one and test something out. Oh, man, I wish I had that invisibility thing. This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad. Oh, I did not use my silence gun. <laughs> yeah, this is a pretty good one, though. Just be careful, you got a tripwire. Oh, no, that's not a tripwire, sorry. Oh, all right. Look at that. Physics, baby. Uh, okay. So, I feel like they're kind of comparable to Hitman people, where they're not super smart. Like, if they see you, they will shoot at you, and you don't really have that much health in this game. Uh-oh. That's a that's a mine. Uh, so you don't want to get caught with a bunch of them, but I do feel like one on one they're not the hardest thing in the world. There's loads of these mines. Uh oh, someone behind me. 
<laughs> Phew. Well, they definitely all heard me now. Yeah, there's there's a fair amount of people. Let's just do that. Get up here. Maybe in that door. Hello everyone, eat grenade. Oh boy. Yeah, it's all kicking off here. Oh, bad time to reload. So I've only got one life left after this, I think. What's that out is here? correct. Hopefully oh, some hello. health. Can I... This is risky. Uh, nice. Wow, okay. They love surprises. Yeah, also you get like these little like text things that kind of guide you through levels and um, like give you give you information on kind of where to go or you know to be loud or to be quiet. It's it's really cool. It's they're it's like yeah, and they're and they they don't like outstay their welcome. No, they're, you know, two bits. Do you know the two bit story? No, I don't know about two bit yet. Oh, uh, I don't. I don't oh, also, here's look. Here's Doom. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sick. <laughs> they have ones for Dishonored and uh, Dishonored Two and everything as well. These are arcade machines. Uh, also, did you know you can make the um, you can make level up. You you can make them slip by putting the candy on the floor. Oh, I wondered what that was for. It's very. Fu it happened to me by accident once, and it was the, it was hilarious. If you yeah, if you shoot the candy machines, they basically put these like little candy balls all over the ground, and yeah. then if they run past them, they'll just like you know, straight up just flip. I'm looking at them, and I'm like, how do I eat this? What do what am I what am I doing wrong? Oops. Oh man. All right. Doing all right. Not doing terribly, but could be doing better. Hey, lady, she didn't see me coming around. That's awesome. Oh, sugar. Oh, oh, oh that oh. was a bad choice. Oh, no. Let's get in here. This gun is just an absolute yeah. murder show. Oh, <laughs> it wasn't as good as I thought. It doesn't yeah, have the longest one? range, but it is powerful up close. How's my health? Half? Okay. So this is a problem. There Last time go. I did this, I had like a conveyor belt of people coming out of this. I had the, the first time I had Charlie come out to this area. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, they just opened this door. I don't think I've been in here before. There's some hell. Oh, thank you. Legit did not see it. Okay. Okay. So she, she, she disappeared. I'm gonna yeah, read some emails. I feel like she's gonna maybe pop up again when you try and hack the antenna to get out of the tunnel. Oh, cool. I just learned something about them. Are they... Let me see. If I just leave this go, it'll actually yeah. tell me. So which Charlie is perfect. and Fia plan a secret rendezvous in the afternoon. So yeah. And that's it. it. You yeah, know, and you that's all you need to know. Exactly. You don't have to like actually spend all your time reading this stuff. Um, oh, there's another thing. Okay, Wenge blocked Charlie. I like Wenge. That's a cool... She was a cool visionary. Yeah. She had... They all have their own interesting thing going on. All the visionaries. Hey, buddy. Yeah, uh, Fia... Shit. Her story is pretty interesting, too. I don't know if you made it... Oh, no. I guess where you are, you probably would not have seen that yet, but... I don't think so. I don't think yet. Yeah. But I'm excited to. Yeah, I mean it's nope. it's the thing, and and you know, like I said, like we we are playing this game at different paces and in different branches, and there's just you know there's just stuff that we have conflicting information on, not conflicting information on, just different levels of comprehension on. Yeah, and I what I like about it is that like the problem with immersive sims a lot of the time, like there's so many problems with them between save scumming and people like. You know, basically everyone crouching all the time and being silent and, and you know, or like having to min-max on your powers in certain ways. This game, like, it's hard to explain in a quick look, but in like loads of small ways, it basically like fixes all those problems. Like, you have a, you redo your loadout after every, you know, your powers you change after every single level or every single time of day if you want. Um, the, the way in which the objectives are set up sort of encourages you to have like these, you know, low... Uh, you know, low objective runs where you're just going in to figure some stuff out or do something small or open one safe. Like, yep. not everything has to be, you know, Corvo killing 
the person at the end of the level and and you basically running through that level once and then never playing it again like even the awesome level design in these games which sort of gets tragically underappreciated um it kind of works better in this one because you're playing them over and over again charlie stick your head out actually i'm gonna hack his thing oh did he just run he just ran i, I think he's i think he's deeper into his his hideout yeah i'm gonna use my hack him a jig oh oh it's all you See, you only have to touch it once, and then right. you can you can hack it. Sort of once. Oh, you've he's. The I think he content. went downstairs. I gotta hack this other one. I I've never been in his place, so I wanna see if there's anything good in here. Come on, come on. There we go. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, I've never gone in here before, so. Oh, he was here. Okay. Oh, oh there, and behind you is that like uh, teleporting little, I got like thing. I don't know, yeah, coil the, thing. Yeah. The trinkets are. Um, oh. Oh, I got it on my my microphone here, my my controller. <laughs> All of these people as well are just like the the absolute like tech bro shitheads and like science. <laughs> Like, like one of the guys in this is called like, it's, is he Jack Dorsey or something? what's his name? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like he's <laughs> like, the, like he's straight. Yeah, his name is Dorsey, and I forget what his first. It's probably I probably have it in here somewhere. Um, Ale Alexis Dorsey. Yeah. So like you know they're they're not shying away from some of this stuff. Okay, I would be listening to a lot more of this, but I guess I already figured out that Fia and Charlie are are into each other. So maybe by listening to this stuff, my character Colt. Um, Touch of the Stranger. That's the Dishonored logo. So, I'm guessing that's yeah, what that is. That, yeah, I'm guessing that's the homage. It, I don't think you can play any of those, unfortunately. No, they all just kind of play, uh, you know, what would we, what would, would we do with the Drunken Sailor whenever I touch them. Um, so, Charlie looks like he went down to the first level. Yeah. All right, better get down. So, I've got one more life after this. I'm going to use this gun. I, this thing seems like it's got the most... Like, recoil control and bang for your buck. I don't really mind about being loud. I'm happy for... Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. Oh! He got me. Why am I walking so slow? I think he buffed, Wait, he buffed that... me or something. Oh, yeah. There, he's there down, is he? No, yep, almost. He's dead. Yep, he's dead. Awesome. Okay. Let's suck him off. Give me your juice, Charlie. Charlie juice. He's full of juice. Oh, shit. They're all coming at me. Oh, I thought that was What's-Her-Face. Oh, no. Is she oh, going to turn up now? I'm so scared you're I, gonna... I feel like it's possible. I don't know. I, I'm curious to see how far you're able to get uh, to the antenna that you have to hack. So, those little, like, coaster things, right? The, the They're color-based as well, right? Like, you get... There's higher profile um, trinkets yeah. and weapons, depending on their loot And you color. can add them here. They go back to your arsenal, and you basically do that when you go, when you go, uh, when you get out of here. Uh, so yeah. my, what I want to check now is my, my, this is longer, apparently. I'm not sure if it yeah, is. Yeah, so I guess they'll just apply that right away. I th it I doesn't think... feel like it's that much longer. Hmm. Unless there's something I have to do to... You can't yeah. equip it now, I don't think. You can only No, you're right. Yeah. But I would imagine they automatically add in a slab perk once well, you discover it. Let's see it. here, because this this think. barely worked last time. Yeah. Right? So let me see how far yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know, know if it's much longer. Uh, yeah, so uh, as far as I know as well, I will have to use residuum to keep this upgrade, right? Correct. You have to um infuse the uh perk to keep okay. it. Oh shit! I saw that oh, one earlier. That was... That's that's on me. That's on me. There was somebody watching this who was screaming at their PC monitor. <laughs> um, okay, so here's a here's a door I can open. In a different level, there might be like a. Oh, I could have jumped in there. Maybe next time I'll just walk around and jump in there. <laughs> um, that's what I love about this game. It's just the, the little shortcuts and the level mastery. Look all these goons 
I kind of don't want to make too much noise here because I, I have a feeling I'm going to run into. I know she's her face, <sighs> Juliana. I really hope we see her again, not for your sake, but for <laughs> entertainment's sake. Yes, me too. This, uh... I think you're gonna be all right that way. Maybe get across that. There you go. Some health there. Oh, you're like you're like my health bro. Thank you. That's it. That's it. I've got eyes for baseball. health. Yeah. Oh, that is someone over there. Back up. Nothing. My tiny little gold. Uh, what did I say? God, I want that gun. It's so good. Don't mind me. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah. Shoot the one in the back so the one in the front doesn't notice. Look at that shit. Look at how accurate that thing is. It's just an absolute money maker. Look at this. Uh-oh. Oh. Accurate. Not unlike the shooter. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Shit. Bad time to run out of ammo. Uh, Colt 1 Charlie zeroed. Very good. Uh, the origin of your character and the mystery of his relationship to all of these different characters is also a big part of it. Um, so that's pretty cool. But uh, for now, what do, what do you think? Should I just should I mosey on out of here? Should I try and get out? Like, uh, if I was playing this normally, I would. This would be me being going. You know, I, I've gotten enough. I'm happy with my run here. That, yeah, like I feel like that's the. You know, you do sit. You do hit this sort of like, you know, unofficial time limit where you're like balancing how many lives <laughs> you have left, and yeah. you're like. <laughs> Like, oh, should I get a little ambitious? Maybe try and find some more residuum? Or... Oh, no. Look at them. Because, yeah, you know... Because there, there's I, no time limit actually in these levels, right? Like, you right. can keep playing. Time doesn't progress while you're in a certain level. And the thing that I... I mean, I definitely got too greedy. Oh, I hear her. I hear her. Oh. I just heard her. I just... She just popped up on my... Sorry to cut oh. you off. No, no, no. Oh, here's the candy machines like you're talking. Yeah. You can just have some as well if you want. Yeah. But the, and then you can't do anything. Yeah, you can't eat them. That sucks. Um, yeah, like I, I, I've gotten on two occasions. I've gotten way too greedy and lost like thirty thousand residuum because I <laughs> just completely. Uh oh, uh oh. She's freaking me out, man. There she is. There she is. Jesus, she was invisible. Get her! Get her! Get her! There yeah, it is. Yeah, give me that trophy. This is a good run. Man, I hope this... Oh, someone hope downstairs, too. Yeah. What's that? Is that her Havoc? Okay, give me that. Yeah. Um, she might have oh. fallen. Oh, did she fall over? She totally did. <laughs> I don't know. Like, we she gotta fell go over. back and watch. Oh, wait. Do I have to, I have to like... Oh, I replaced the card. Yeah. So, Shh. if you've infused that slab before, you're fine. But oh, if I you haven't... A... Oh, really? Wait, I so... I believe... Yeah. So you think if I drop one of the other ones, I'll be able to like redo it later? The, the real question is, if you dropped the, uh, would you just le level up shift, right? Yeah. If you drop I... shift, do you lose the perk associated with it? That's a question I don't have the answer to. So if I drop this one, Carnesis, which is the which is the the force push basically. Yeah. If you haven't leveled that up, yeah, there's no trinkets there, or slab trinkets. I have trinkets, that whatever. though. I like I, I yeah. Have... So if you've infused Carnesis, you should you should be fine dropping it here. But that means, I, I, do you think I'll be able to re-get it? Like when the level? I think you have to wait till the loop resets to get it back. Oh, okay, okay. I think. I'm gonna say I, I... that I'm. More, what's her chaos one do? Chaos just uh, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of chaos. Chaos just gives you like unlimited, not oh. unlimited, but like a timed energy boost and uh, damage buff. Cool. I'm gonna use that right now. Hey guys, I got I got max uh, maximum damage now. But now oh. it but it's run out. Okay. I think it only lasts as long as your uh, power meter is oh, filled. Oh yeah. Power meter, by the way, is is the blue one in the corner. Yeah. Oh, I'll use it again. I'm getting in a real. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm in a real doozy of a pickle here. Yeah, you're in a zone. There you go. Whoops. Look Oops. at that, just turning them into chum. Oh my god. Did you see his, like, legs and head came off? It's, yeah, it's not the best. So her power is basically quad damage. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just don't find myself using it that much. Okay, I'm gonna um, bring it home just to kind of test it out and see what happens. Yeah. See if it added to my repertoire. 
Um, so that's cool, I killed her. And now I have all the residuum in the world. Um, I have to unlock my door here. Um, Correct. And I think the cool. antenna... Oh no, you have to you have to hack the antenna. Oh, I do. Where's the antenna? It's ba oh, oh no, it's, how far is it? Far? Is it? Oh, oh it's actually, far. well, I came to the wrong tunnel. I forgot I didn't actually come in that way, because usually I do come in that way, but I went... The level spat me out somewhere else. There's multiple exits, right? Yeah, so I think they give you an exit based on the objective you've chosen to like give you get you as close to it as possible or something like that. I'm not actually quite sure. Um, but uh, it shouldn't be that hard to get over there. Yeah, it's not. It's it is oh, far from there? where you were, oh, yeah, but you know, I don't even notice those guys. And you can tag enemies too. Oh shit! I don't know. Um, oh yeah, can I, I forgot you could do that. What are you down? Is it? Yeah, just down, and if you oh. hold down, it'll actually give you a couple more details, yeah. It's so cool. Tells you kind of their mood and motivation, and tells you what gun they have. Which can be handy. I forgot about that. Yeah, like when I see people who just have a machete, I'm just like, you're you're pointless. <laughs> like, I don't need to worry about you. So this is where I started, right? Down here somewhere? I think so. But where's the antenna? The, the antenna is still... It's over there. Okay. So Looks I do like actually have to go and do that. All right. Love these weird face statues everywhere in, in Updom. Not to mention this thing. Yeah. And and what's that is cool too. Like you do see all the other areas. It's not one of those like you can get there, but you see them in the distance. Yeah, you can't you can't like go between levels or anything, but you do you, you do see them as you go along. And, like, you get used to these areas. Like, I know this area pretty well because that's my right. apartment over there. Right. Um, and the early part of the game does a good job of, uh, you know, explaining how it all kind of... Like, th th there's a good, like, four or five levels in a row there where you're just doing the story and it's right. explaining what you're meant to be doing. So it, it doesn't just throw you in or anything. Let's go for and, it. You know, that that was my biggest fear. Like, I, the, the first, like I said, the first couple sessions... I finish up and I'm just like sitting there in the menus and I'm just like, what is all this? <laughs> you know, I just remember being like, oh my God, am I just an old man who can't play video games anymore? Like, what is all this? And then it just, it kind of just clicks and you're just like, oh, I get it. Like it is, it, it's its own language. You yeah. learn it real quick and you're like, I'm ready to roll. Oops. Oh, didn't even notice. Didn't even notice his buddy died. That's that's tragic. Sorry. Ooh, what's your code? Oh, what's your yeah. code? Oh, is your, are the diff codes different? Yeah. Yeah. Two one six three. Yeah, mine starts with a five. I uh, I did I'd like a good immersive sim fan. I did try the code. Um, it did give me an achievement, so I was very happy. nice. Yeah. Thank you, Arcane, for keeping the dream alive. Uh, yeah, and then at the end, you can basically say, "Are you done or not?" And I'm done. And it's going to give me a nice little summary of uh, of how I did. And kind of what I learned and what what items I picked up. So here we are. Charlie's dead. I survived. Juliana killed me once, so that's one of the, the deaths. Juliana uh, is dead. Here is some knowledge uncovered. Uh, not all that much, to be honest. Uh, but no, one but of the that, things but about it definitely the game, keeps your 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 track lead going though. Like you did the thing that's going to do that. Yeah, and then the, I'll you know get to the next one and, and and I guess one of the main things in this game is trying to get them all bunched together enough so that you can kill all of them in the four days. Um, yeah, and I didn't really and you know I don't want to obviously go into how that comes together, um, but I will say like it's oh these ooh. are fun. Oh, I haven't gotten one of these before. Yeah. <laughs> the style's really good. I wasn't really cool. quite sure about it from all the trailers and stuff because I wasn't sure if one of the one of these situations where like, oh, the trailers are selling a style that's not actually in the game. But um, right, and it's, it's funny because you know I think a lot of people, you know, maybe not a criticism, but just the sort of question that everyone continued to ask was just like what the hell is this game yeah and now having the insight you're like oh yeah it's an impossible game to explain explain so 100 <laughs> yeah i totally get it um so here's the thing i can now infuse this 
Havoc slab so I can keep it. Uh, another thing you can do as well is actually sacrifice things. So you can right. you know, sacrifice this power to keep this power. Um, so a really good, cool thing to point out here too is on the bottom left, you have the sorting options, right? And what I've found is, you know, you're, you're, you have so many of these trinkets and so many of these little upgrades. You're just like, what, what, what does everything do? The, the R2 sort of filtering yeah. is super helpful in understanding like where all of your little pieces lay and, and, and like what you can get away with, uh, sacrificing, etc. So I have infused that, uh, one and then I'm going to see if I can, can I select this upgrade? I yeah, can. so I guess it wasn't to... automatically applied. No, and I don't... Th oh, you're right. And I don't think I have enough residuum to infuse it right now, do I? I've, it's 10,000 and I require... Oh, no, oh, no I have you enough. have... Yeah, you have plenty. So let me see. Let's go back into so I think it, Yeah, you have to go back into that. Actually, go back out. You have to go into the bottom slab upgrade tab in the previous screen. <laughs> I can't just do it here. No, I don't think they let you do it. Okay, okay. So where, where do I got to go? Slab, slab upgrades. upgrades. Yeah, there ah, it very is. Very good. Okay, infuse. There we go. So okay. now you own that. Now, what's interesting, though, is when you go back, so you don't really have to make all your infusion decisions now unless you die and then you lose everything. But um, if you go back to your loadout, oh, I don't believe you will have access to the, uh, the, the teleporting one now. Yeah, but will I get yeah. it back? But I believe I you die? get it back after your loop right, because well, it's already been infused. <laughs> I'll have to wait and see. Yeah, you just left it out in the world now. Uh, that's death loop. Have we, I think that's. I feel like if we do any more, it'll just overburden people. Um, yeah, I. I mean, I. I need to speak to the, the the person who had no nothing and watch this, and I want to just be like, hey, how do you feel now? <laughs> like, did we <laughs> break you, or are you? Do you feel better? I hope you feel better. I, yeah. I, Let us yeah. know in the comments, and then because we will talk about this on the bombcast tomorrow as well. So, Hell yeah. Hell um, yeah! We'll try and get this one up today. Um, yeah, that's Death Loop. I, I, I guess final thoughts. Like, uh, I really like it. I think it's terrific. I'm taking my time with it. I feel bad for people who had to play this for review, for <laughs> review because to me it's a, such a fun slow burn like Hitman is. Um, yeah, and I, I, I'm, I think it's a real like contender for one of the one of the best experiences of the year especially if you look if you're an immersive sim fan like if you're a Dis if you're a dishonored fan this is like 100 percent one of those games but i also think like if you're someone who bounced off games like prey because it was just like too much going on at the same time even though like you know that game when you get into the weeds it's it's terrific i think this you know you can you can see both arcane studios really learning and adapting and it's super cool um you, would you recommend it as well oh yeah i mean it's tremendous in every in every sense i uh i think about this game when i'm not playing it uh <laughs> which does not happen very often uh it's uh yeah there's really nothing like it that i've played in a very long time and and i and i put out a couple tweets a little while ago and i i didn't mention this with you and i'm curious what you think there is something as unique as this game is there is something that is scratching that bioshock one itch in this game sure uh, that yeah. just makes me feel kind of warm and tingly inside. And I, I just feel like that is a thing worth saying because Bioshock 1 is probably a, a top five all time for me. So I can see it. Art direction, the characters, yeah. the sort of nature of the weird characters, the, 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 there's a decent amount of like, you know, political, um, satire and commentary going on sure. here, uh, workers rights, all that sort of type of stuff. So like, yeah, I'm totally with you. There's, there's, there's depth here where Bioshock felt like you were playing a game that was just like layers deep in sure. terms of lore even if it was or wasn't i feel like there's a lot of that going on here too yeah and of course the similar way you apparently have to hold your left hand all crinkled up when you have a power uh that's apparently what you must do your so. it's hard man it's you got to use one of those squidgy balls in between you know, runs <laughs> to keep keep the muscles good bacalar thanks so much dude hey thanks danny and thank you for watching we'll see you next time on quick looks here on giant bomb